Cash Cow DX just released on the Atari VCS on Friday, March 29th. And with it, I am now proclaiming that Pixel is one of the best third-party developers on the console. Pixel has released four games on the Atari VCS, including Siji, A Fart for Melusina, Sir Lovelot, Donut Dodo, and Cash Cow DX. Today we're going to be looking at the latter two games, Cash Cow DX and Donut Dodo, to see what makes Pixel so good on the console. And spoiler alert, Pixel is at their best when they're producing 1980s style arcade games. Donut Dodo is similar to Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr., while Cash Cow DX is a love letter to Mappy style games. And both are almost exactly like the arcade games of the 80s, right down to the tough as nails difficulty. You have to be ready to practice and get good just to unlock a difficulty above easy, and it's anything but easy to do so. So let's explore two of Pixel's offerings on the Atari VCS and see if my proclamation has any legs, or if I hyped them up just a little too much. Donut Dodo came out first, and its levels are single-screen affairs with different gameplay elements and challenges. The graphics are very much similar to the arcade games it's attempting to emulate, but they obviously have the clarity and definition one would expect from a game releasing in the 2020s. You have a lot of options, many of which change the look of the graphics. Different bezels to wrap around the sides of the 4x3 display area, scan lines to mimic the CRT TVs of the era that Donut Dodo is paying homage to, and much more. Overall, I find the game very colorful and inviting. It's a very kid-friendly style with characters full of personality and charm. The enemies look good too, but most are uninteresting and really kind of odd in the case of the toilet. Like seriously, why a toilet? I don't get that one. But luckily, the donut-stealing Dodo is present in every level and keeps the game looking interesting and fun. Different elements are added between every level as you collect the stolen donuts, including a Ferris wheel, balloons, candy rope ladder things, and doors that lead to different parts of the level. I really just dig the way this game looks. And the sound also carries the fun, kid-friendly atmosphere that the graphics convey so well. I love the songs and the tunes that play during and in between every level. Seeing the Dodo continuously take back the giant donut and hearing the jingle that plays is just so fun, and it brings a smile to my face. I could see being a young kid playing this game and wanting to be good at it. The sound effects are great too, with everything being pleasant to the ears, and the music being upbeat and fun. Pixel really nailed not only the atmosphere and the graphics and sound, but made something really kid-friendly and fun, yet enjoyable for adults as well. But when it comes to mimicking early 80s arcade games, the gameplay is king. And attempting to make a game in the style of Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. is admirable, but difficult to pull off well. Yet somehow, Pixel makes it look easy. They kept the challenge high, right from the beginning of the game, and yet it's simple to understand and play. I think just about any VCS owner will be able to download it and understand what they need to do right from the start. Collect the donuts and avoid the enemies. Once you get all the small donuts, a ladder appears, giving you a clear path to the ultimate goal. It's just perfect in execution. Players will have to work at the first level a while before they progress. I almost guarantee you'll see the game over screen a few times before you see the second level. And the second level ramps things up. Not a lot, but enough to show that challenge is the key element of what Pixel is producing. It's a game that would suck the quarters right out of your pocket in the arcade. But the third level features a ferris wheel and really brings things down a bit. But not in a way that feels unnatural. This is the level where the challenge comes in your mastery of the controls, and not in the difficulty and comprehension of having to recognize and memorize enemy patterns and behaviors. There are still enemies in the third level, but the platforming is the bulk of the challenge. And again, it's done very well. You really only have two things to worry about, movement and jumping. It's simple as simple can be, but each level has its own theme and gameplay quirk that keeps things very interesting. The first level is pretty standard with its ladders. The second level has the ropes that you need to climb across, and the challenge of catching the last donut from a chain that's rising and sinking in the middle of the screen. The third level, as I mentioned before, is the Ferris wheel, and requires good timing and control of your character to get across. The fourth level has you climbing up and down rather than left and right, and requires some perfect timing to get the donut at the end. And finally, you have the doors in the last level, 
that reminds me of something like Hotel Mario from the CDI of all things. And they still manage to keep the themes of timing and mastery of the controls here as well. So the only real critique I can give Donut Dodo is the unforgiving difficulty. For some, it's just going to be too hard to enjoy. You have to be willing to invest the time in order to see anything past the first difficulty level, and some just won't have the skill or patience to do so. Others might complain that five different screens isn't enough in 2024, and that the difficulty is hiding the actual lack of content. I personally don't believe this at all, but some people will feel that way, I'm sure. But let's take Donut Dodo into the Atari Network pros and cons section, and see what kind of score it earns. For the pros, we start with the bright, colorful graphics. They look great and have a variety of bezel and scan line options to boot. There might be a lack of story, but the characters, especially the Dodo, have enough personality to carry this game. The sound is fun and upbeat too, and was a joy to listen to. And the gameplay, while difficult, was perfect. If I didn't know better, I'd say this was a long lost arcade game. But for the cons, I really just have one, and that's the fact that the difficulty is very, very high. You have to be willing to invest a bit of time to get any joy out of it. Especially if you want to see your name at the top of the high score charts. Also, some of the enemies, like the toilet, just feel too random. A nitpick to be sure, but worth mentioning I think. And so, with all that said, I think it's fair to give Donut Dodo 4 classic controllers out of 5. And if I'm honest, it was so close to a perfect 5, but I think it's just a tad too difficult. But it's fair, and demands that you take the time to conquer the game. And it's a challenge I'll happily accept. And you should too, if you love early arcade games and long for something to take you back to the good old days. Speaking of which, Pixel's newest VCS release continues what Donut Dodo started, with yet another homage to the arcade games of the 80s. Cash Cow DX takes the best elements of Donut Dodo, and uses them to create a completely new and unique experience on the VCS 800. Instead of a chef, you'll be playing a cow who has had his money stolen by a fat pig and some enemies that wouldn't look out of place in games like Qbert, where Donut Dodo had some odd enemies that I felt didn't completely fit the theme. Cash Cow definitely feels like a cohesive design from start to finish. But what do you do in Cash Cow and how does it differ from Donut Dodo? Well, these aren't single screen levels for one. You scroll the screen quite a bit left and right but everything ultimately wraps around in smart ways. You can enter tunnels and pipes on each end of the level to cycle back around to the other end. You can also follow waterfalls from the bottom of the screen and wrap it around to the top. But not all blue water is friendly, just keep that in mind. So you'll spend your time collecting your gold coins back from the greedy pig and his minions. They've dropped them all over five levels. You can also collect a gem in order to turn the coins rainbow and increase the score they provide. And you also have access to a pickaxe, which acts exactly like Mario's hammer from Donkey Kong. You swing it for a limited period of time, killing enemies and removing them from the screen. You have to collect every piece of treasure to move to the next level. And these levels, much like Donut Dodo, are all similar in style, but distinct in gameplay elements. You have levels with slides, boats that rock back and forth, trampolines, zip lines, and more. This creates situations where you know the general goal in each new level, but not necessarily what obstacles you'll have to master and avoid to get to that goal. And again, much like in Donut Dodo, the graphics and sound are upbeat, bright, and fun. Pixel has created two games here that you can enjoy with your family and not have to worry about inappropriate content. Cash Cow DX even has nearly all the same options. Chances are, if you like one, then you're gonna enjoy the other because while they do things differently, they're both great love letters to classic arcade games. But I feel that the challenge of Cash Cow, while not easy, is slightly more fair than the previous game. Once you learn to take your time and anticipate where the bad guys are and how they are going to behave, then you'll be able to conquer these levels in no time. And the final boss battle with Pig, while slightly confusing at first, is inventive and fun. I really feel like Pixel learned enough from the last game to tweak Cash Cow DX enough to make everything tighter, control better, and flow better. The difficulty is slightly more fair, the graphics are slightly crisper, and the controls are a tad bit tighter. This game really makes me want to see what Pixel can give us in their next offering, and if I had the chance, I'd love to get a real arcade cabinet with these games on it. They're that good. But is Cash Cow DX good enough to get a better score than Donut Dodo? Well, let's return to the Atari Network pros and cons section to find out.
For pros, I have to say that the graphics and sound are excellent once again, and I might like them a bit more than Donut Dodo, honestly. The world feels more cohesive than the previous game. The gameplay, while challenging, is a lot of fun, and will have you coming back over and over again to conquer each level. I also like how each level introduces new elements to help keep things fresh from screen to screen. Oh, and you can unlock some new difficulties, and even a new character, which, of course, is fun. For cons, I just want to mention again that this game might be too difficult for some. It requires the time and commitment to see it to the end. And, well, that's really it. I loved Cash Cow DX, and that's why I think it's earned the score of 5 classic controllers out of 5. Yes, I love it that much, and I feel like it's a must-own game on the VCS 800. If you love Atari, if you grew up playing Donkey Kong, Dig Dug, Mario Brothers, and Mappy, then you'll enjoy this one. But now I want to hear from you guys. Do you agree that Donut Dodo is a 4 out of 5, and Cash Cow DX is a 5 out of 5? If not, what score should each game get, and what flaws do they have? Do you prefer one game over the other? And have you played Pixel's other offerings? If so, do you like them just as much as these two? Let me know the answers to all this and more in the comments down below. Also, we have merch available if you're interested. They have our new logos and are available right now. We also have a Discord server if you want to continue discussing these games and anything else Atari. It's free to join too. Links to the Discord and for the new merch are in the description below. And I'd like to thank all my Patreons for their support. Thanks to classy Atarians like these, we can continue to grow the channel and keep putting out new content twice a week. So thank you to my own Celestial, OG Hugo, Head Trauma Bob, Jolt7800, Ball Gobbler, Socrates63, and Fend the Spook. You guys rock. And if you want your name read aloud and shown at the end of the videos, please consider becoming a Patreon. Alright guys, with all that said, it's time to say goodbye. I'm the 7800 Pro Gamer, a donut-stealing, money-grubbing cash cow riding a dodo here at the Atari Network, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. And remember to stay classy, Atarians. Thank <laughs> you.